All right, boys. All right. Arizona Review Bros. We are back with a new location. You want to tell them a little bit what we're up to right now? Brewing some beer today. Right now we're in uh, Ryan Brady's garage. We are in my garage, correct. As yeah. you can see around us, we have our brewery equipment. Yeah. Tell them a little bit about what's going on in the process. So we got our wheat in the Gatorade container right now, right? All of our grain, yes. All of our grain in there. It's in the mash process, so it's sitting in there with water at 155 degrees. Okay. And we have four different types of grain. I don't know where the bag went. All right, so in our mash, we have 15 pounds of grain. We have one and a half pounds of wheat, one and a half pounds of flaked oats, one and a half pounds of Dom Munich, and then 10 pounds of two row. So we're kind of going for a double hazy, Double dry hopped, which is one of our favorite styles of beer, I'd say, right? Yes. Wow. Oh, we're brewing, yes. New England IPA, here we go. Uh, it's gonna be super juicy, super hoppy, uh, aroma-wise. Nice. It's not very bitter at all. We're using a ton of hops in there. Some extra yeast, right? Yeah, some yeast, some yeast additives to help the yeast really prolong the, the fermentation. All right. Uh, right now we're mashing. We're gonna be putting it in the boil kettle. And uh, there we go. So we gotta make it kind of quick because we got about what, 30 minutes. Yeah, so cheers. So cheers. This is, we didn't even talk about this beer at all. This is That's So Millennial by who's Four Fathers called? Brewing Company. Four Fathers Brewing Company out of Indiana. Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. Nice and cold. So we got our new glasses. Hazy. It's super dark. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know if it's just because we're in a dark room. No, it's dark. It is, it is a dark, uh, what do you call this? Like I would say kind of like a brownish orange. Okay. Maybe, yeah. Citrusy. I definitely get some citrus. Like the grapefruit kind of citrus. Not a smooth citrus, more of a spiky citrus in there. I kind of get a, almost like some earthy tones as well. A little citrusy, a little earthy. Okay. Yeah. Just tried it. Tasting the citrus too. Some of these hazes you get a really more mellow mango pineapple. This is, I'm feeling, uh, tasting grapefruit. Um, I am still tasting tropical pineapple. It's really good. So this is a millennial out of four fathers. We don't know much too much about them. We uh, we tried to look them up a little bit. Didn't find much. So they only have 159 unique tastings or uh, ratings on Untapped. So it's not drank often. Maybe it's a new beer. Yeah, could be new or maybe not in our area. I don't know. Yeah, definitely you know Midwest. Up yeah. there we're not getting enough. So they put in 50 pounds of hops per barrel per barrel when they brew. Okay. But let's say our fermenter is five gallons and we're putting in 15 ounces of hops. And that's a lot for us. Yeah, that's big for us. That's a lot. We're cramming them in. Usually you like to do, so Connor has been brewing beer for I'd say approximately 10 years. And his go-to is like a Sierra Nevada clone. So Connor actually stepped it up at the brew store, bought a ton of new stuff, and we're trying to complete new recipes. So we'll have to review that on camera as well someday. Mm -hmm. Two weeks from now? Uh, probably we're going to bottle condition it also so about a month. Um, oh, a month from now. Okay. So a month from now we'll review that. But uh, yeah, I like this beer a lot. I mean, you want to give it a quick scale? Quick scale here? Uh, overall beer scale. We're not doing IPA scale or pale ale scale anymore. We're only judging our beers overall beer scale. Zero through ten. And then when we score on untapped, cut what we'll do is we'll just cut it in half. So what do you give it out like of ten? Seven point seven. I'm giving it an eight three. I think it's really good. Um, again, it's that's so millennial. Four Fathers Brewing Company, six point eight. Highly recommend. What did I give it? Eight three. Eight three yeah. seven seven. That's kind of low. I buy it again. I like I, it. I, I buy it again for sure, like that. Yeah. I, mean, I actually really like it. Your first go to kind of kind of beer. Yeah. I mean, if I saw it somewhere, I would probably pick it up. All right. All right. So that's a wrap. We'll give it around an eight combined score, and we're going to keep brewing. Maybe do a couple more reviews right here, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Peace. Let's go.